Yeah, I've broken down. Um, yeah, I'm going to need covering. How long will that be? Hello, welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to a situation that I'm sure many of you have found yourselves in. Indeed, back last winter, I found myself in just such a situation. I was out in the family car with the family, the car broke down. I managed to get my wife and kids picked up, but I waited with the car. The car had no power, I couldn't run the engine. That was the good news. Uh, the bad news was it was the coldest night of the year and they took nine hours to recover me. I think I eventually got home at 4 a.m. the following morning. So it is one of those situations and if you're not prepared, well, you could find yourself in real trouble. Now, not long after that situation occurring, I got an email through from Forces Uniform and Kit. Um, as a customer, I'm on their mailing list, telling me about some of their new products. And one of those was their, their new field pack, which was basically respirator haversack with a few items in, which you could use for a walk at a push. Um, I emailed them back and said, have you thought about perhaps changing those items just slightly and turning it into a vehicle emergency pack for just such a situation so uh, last week uh, I was on their website looking at their latest item section when I saw they now have a vehicle emergency pack so I clicked on it and they've got a load of items in that same original respirator haversack but ones that are more suited to a vehicle emergency obviously down at the bottom then being nice people, they, they've credited the, the ideas to me. And what they've done is they've taken the list that I suggested and they've taken some of those items along with some items that they held in stock and they've put them together as a vehicle emergency pack. So I've got one in the back and I thought what we do is we'd have a look at it. So here it is, as you can see, it's a, a respirator haversack, one of the old DPM British issue jobs. Thousand Dernier Cordura, all quality fittings front and back. Has several straps on it, the original shoulder strap, which again is fast it's buckled. Which, as you saw, I just hang around the, the headrest of uh, the seats in the back and it, it just keeps it up off the back so it doesn't really take up any boot space. Uh, pocket on the outside on that side, slim fit pocket on that side. Overall size, I'm not actually that sure. I would say probably uh, about 12 inches by 15 inches uh, across the bottom up the sides. Width wise, well that's probably about four or five inches across so not too big not too small i guess what we ought to do now is see what's inside it okay so in the top small field towel guess quite a useful thing to have in the back of a car. I know a few times when it's been absolutely pouring with rain rather than getting my seat soaking wet as I've got back into the car I have actually put a towel down. If you've got kids you've been to the beach I guess again yeah useful. So a towel if you need to get dry not a bad item. <clears throat> We've also got in here a first aid pack Which is, yeah, just a small basic first aid pack. Again, I always carry a cuts kit on me, but to have a slightly bigger first aid kit, not a bad idea. Good, good, good. Also in there we have 
one foil hypothermia blanket. So yeah, if you're cold, if you've got a casualty who's losing heat, again, useful. That would go with your first aid kit. Yeah, that makes quite a sensible choice. We've also got in here this green item, which I believe is a waterproof poncho. Compact, feels like it's reasonably durable plastic actually. Yeah, not a bad item for an emergency, little poncho. We've also got in here two light sticks. Yeah, two six inch light sticks. So again, from marketing position, particularly after dark, you can put them out on the road or even use them for lighting up the inside of the vehicle if, like my vehicle, when it broke down and had no power. Yeah, these work quite well. Also in here we have one water bottle. I think this is a, an old Swedish one. And a heavy duty metal mug. Yeah, I think I had one of these many, many years ago. It was a Dutch one, absolutely brilliant. Totally bomb-proof piece of kit. You can make brews in it, dig holes with it, all sorts of things. Yeah. So again, really good, useful item. Also in there, we have one of these. And this is an emergency beverage pack. And um, yeah, we'll come back to that in a minute because I have used one of these ones before and uh, yeah they're quite a good item then we've also got in the bottom there a very small entrenching tool okay again quite a useful item in an emergency yeah and in the main compartment, that's about it. Over in the side, on this side, there's a small microfiber towel. And again, I guess, for wiping down the inside of the vehicle, if you've got a steamed up windscreen, etc., quite useful. If you need to get you dry, not bad. <laughs> I tend to use these quite a lot, just for keeping my glasses clean <coughs> at a push. That's all of the items that are in there. There is a little bit of space for more gear, so you could customise it a little. Um, but as a basic start pack, it's not bad at all. Yeah. So next thing we can do, we'll have a look at this little pack, a little emergency beverage pack. So going into the pack, we have a whole host of different beverage items. So, pack of 10 paper tissues. A couple of extra herbal tea bags, more about those in a moment. Those don't come as standard. We've also got some little wet wipes. Again, useful. Some matches and a small scouring pack for keeping stuff clean. Yeah, and the matches, they also come with a little striker. Also in there we have one heating kit. Now this, yeah, is quite interesting. Essentially, what we have in here is a waterproof up solid fuel tablets. Excellent, excellent idea. You also have this, and this is your little folding stove to be used with those fuel tablets. Then, in here, we have your beverage pack. And in your beverage pack, well, there's all manner of different things. There's coffee, there's whitener, there's chewing gum. And it's a good, basic little kit, actually. It could be added to. I think I would be intent, uh, inclined probably to put in things like 
uh, a bag of peanuts and raisins or some sort of high calorie food. I probably would also put in uh, a 12 hour tea light candle as well. And one last thing, I can throw in a little spoon. So actually, the contents aren't bad at all. Yes, I mean, the, the kit that I normally carry in the winter, I have a, a, a gas burner in there. But all these little folding solid fuel stoves, certainly nothing to go wrong. They weigh nothing and they're very, very easy to use. Matches, I'd probably back that up with a lighter. And as I said, I'd probably also put a, a 12 hour tea light candle in there as well, because then I can use that for heating the inside of the car. Uh, as well as lighting so <clears throat> yeah not a bad starter kit something that you could indeed build up a little bit more the entrenching tool well it's a little bit on the lightweight side what i tend to carry is one of these ones a bit more heavy duty this is a big old austrian surplus one and it really is a great bit of kit i've had it for years and years and through most of the year this does live in the back of the car along with a few other tools but the basic kit, I think, isn't bad. I think these are £35 to buy. And I think it's not bad value for money, actually. You get quite a useful collection of items put together in a package that's a good size and will easily fit into the back of pretty much any vehicle, even the little tiny mini hatchback cars out there. That would fit in the back. And it's that little bit of insurance, just in case it does happen to you. What I'm going to do now is I think I'm going to take said folding stove, water bottle and mug and give myself a bottle. So there you go, brew is on the go. Um, we'll see how long that takes. One thing that occurs to me, you could do with a little bit of foil or something in there just to put over the top of the cup, which will speed up boiling time. Also, certainly for me, it could do with tea bags because I don't drink coffee. Uh, so yeah, I would upgrade mine with some tea bags and some little sachets of creamer. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's a great bit of kit. So there you go. That is the little vehicle emergency bag from Forces Uniform and Kit. As I said, it would make a great starter kit, i.e. It's, it's a bag that you can keep in the back of the car that doesn't take up too much kit, uh, too much space, and you can add to it because, like most things, you want to tailor it to your own specific needs, your own preferences. I'll pop a link in the description box down below. Pop over there and have a look at it. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then hit that thumbs up button, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Also, in the description box down below, there are links to my social media, my Instagram, my Facebook. There is also a link over there to my green craft shop over on Etsy. Pop over there, you'll get the little patches that I normally wear. Um, they're in stock. Uh, there's also, from time to time, a few other items, including my new Mark III little water bags, which are on the go. I've just got to finish the last of them. I've tried to make up loads, because I know a few people said, oh, every time I go on, all your stuff's sold out. So I'm going to make a big load of them. Hopefully, they'll be in stock a little bit longer. 
Also down there in the description box, I'm gonna put a link for my merch shop as well, which I've got a merch shop, it's on Spreadshirt. And over there, there's a whole load of uh, different items from mugs to stickers to a whole range of t-shirts that I've uh, designed, including this one, my Be Ready For t-shirt. as Be Ready For t-shirts, hoodies, and sweatshirts. If you're someone like me, who perhaps is a bit into their preparedness, their EDC, etc. That is what Be Ready For is all about. So pop over there, get yourself one of these, become part of the clan. Anyway, I think that's everything. I've been Neil, and until next time, stay safe in the woods.